All right, here is a quick, simple push to talk demo. Uh, here on my left, we have got a Sonom XP8 Android phone. Here on my right, I've got an iPhone 8. Uh, on the push to talk, you actually key up the device and you push the key on the left and it'll turn around and push up all your contacts. Now these are actually loaded separately than the contacts when you pull up your phone and you pull up the contacts, of course, in your phone. Now, when you get into the app, which you actually download this in iTunes, and it's AT&T EPTT, Enhanced Push to Talk, you pop it up, and I've only got two apps here because this is my personal phone. And if I want to turn around and call somebody, like I've got Bobby Demo, that's my actual demo. So I key on it, and then turn around and talk. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. It's extremely loud, but you can go back and forth. Test one, two, three. Now, the thing that's so great about this, when you get to the push to talk side, if you're all using Android or iPhone models, you can actually have the same experience and you can push all the contacts out through the AT&T portal and there's a cat tool inside. So you can actually push the entire sheriff's office or police department, etc., out to everybody's actual device. You can go in and change names if for some reason there's a turnover problem. You can actually set separate groups to where, who can actually talk to everyone in one particular group, if you want to command all, send text messages, you know, pretty much do any and everything that you want to do. So that's one of the things that's really neat on contacts now, again, the push to talk contacts are right in here and you can see, get alerted and everything just like the good old days of the radios that we used to see 10 years ago. And your user still has all their regular contacts, especially if they get in, uh, if you load exchange, everything's gonna come up as, as far as your email and all your contacts and everything in email. So that is a quick little demo.